G'day, this is the uh, newest acquisition, a Sanjian ATS 803A. Uh, nice little radio, I'm pretty impressed with it thus far. Um, the major difference between this and the DX440 by Realistic was the uh, the addition of the 5 pin DIN socket there for recording if that's something that you're into. Also, it features a um, fold out backrest. That's not really something that I'd probably use. I'd prefer to have the radios upright, but you know, if you like that sort of thing, it's it's there. Um, I haven't been powering it off anything but batteries for obvious reasons. <laughs> I haven't got an AC adapter for it yet, but uh, good little radio. I really like the fact that you can adjust the treble and base settings independently. Uh, another good feature is the wide and narrow filters. Uh, I've used them on shortwave bands already a couple of times and um, they've been pretty pretty good, pretty impressive. Also like the uh, direct entry keypad, it's uh, a novelty I'm not used to. Everything prior to this has been a, a dial only affair. It's got about nine a uh, limit of about nine uh, memories for storing your stations you prefer and that's for everything from FM all the way through um, nine's enough although more probably would be handy if it's once again a feature that you'd find yourself using it's not really something I do the uh, BFO works on all AM broadcast bands including long wave and the um, RF gain, interestingly enough, works on every band, including FM, although it doesn't make a huge impact. There you go. One, the RF gain back, you can hear it does reduce the incoming signal. Not a great amount, but it, you know, it, it, it does do it. Another feature I'm probably not going to use is the um, keypad lock, but it's handy to have it there. This is a uh, station from up in the Northern Territory near Darwin, but, uh, actually being received virtually full scale, and I'm receiving it off of a um, tilted terminated folded dipole that I've got strung up in the backyard. I've got it on a splitter and it actually is connected also to my R1000. We'll just turn that over there. audio reproduction coming through from that but it still sounds really nice coming through the Sanjean as well on the limited testing that I have done with the both radios connected to the same antenna the radios perform fairly similarly um, audio pre-production reproduction sorry is slightly better on the 1000 but not always um, same as the, the, the filtering. One day it'll be the R1000 in front and the next it'll be the Sanjian, just narrowly. But overall the Kenwood is slightly more sensitive as you'd expect for a, a desktop receiver. But this uh, Sanjian a, a, accounts for itself very, very, uh, very well. Um, we might look for a weak station and see if we can compare the two. Here we go, 15,000 WWV, most likely Hawaii. Turn that one off. You can hear it, it's there, but it's not, not intelligible. 
Now 1000, slightly better. Same antenna, same feed line. There isn't much in it. So yeah, like I said, slightly more sensitive, but still an excellent little, still an excellent little support um, performer, and I'm very happy with this purchase. We've got a couple of amateurs, possibly three, having a discussion on 80 meters, and then the DX, the AT, yes, 803A is doing quite well, but in comparison, once again. The audio reproduction is superior on the R1000. It's really just comparing apples to oranges, but I uh, just wanted to show how close and how well this little Sanjean acquaints itself in comparison.